Hello everybody, Dub here with another Stratega Game Analysis. Uh, this is a fun game because there's a lot of errors. Uh, I wasn't focused in this game. I really shouldn't have played. My mind was thinking about something else. But my heart said, why don't you go play? Because I was on a winning streak and I had some time to kill. So I decided to play. At the time, I didn't know I had an eight-game winning streak. If I would have known that, I would have stopped and I would have played on uh, another day when I was more focused. So if you haven't watched my previous video, do that first before you watch this game. That game was very informative on uh, the bluff. It's probably the most important bluff that every Stratego player should know. Watch that before you watch this game. All right, and in the comment sections, people wanted to know how I play. I tend to uh, just try to find my opponent's marshal. I try to probe. I'm not. I'm not a shuffler. I don't like to sit back. I tr I try to probe, and uh, I go down in material to get information, and I try to figure out where my opponent's marshal is, and then I counterattack, and that's how basically how I play. I counterattack with the general and colonel. Uh, I also think at the start of the game, I always assume that the flag is here, and a lot of a lot of the time it really is. People love putting it in this spot, four over from the left, or four over from the right, and then I also think it might be in the corners. So um, if I find my opponent's marshal and I can remember what side it started from, where it was originally at the start of the game. Uh, so if, if the marshal was on the right side, I would assume the flag is here or in the corner. And then if the marshal was on the left side, I would assume the flag is here or in the corner. So it's about 70% 70, 70 of the time the, the, the marshal and flag are on the same side. Now, if it's a marshal blitzer, it's almost like almost like 95% of the time. All right, so let's get started. Uh, this game is, was kind of interesting. I had to change my plans several times during this game. So that's another thing. When you're planning, sometimes things go wrong or, or you make wrong assumptions or you just guess wrong and then you have to change your plan. And then you always have to, one of the mistakes beginners make is they don't look at the scoreboard, uh, the whole scoreboard, and then you have to think about the information scoreboard, how much you know, how much does your opponent know, to try to figure out if you're winning or losing. It's so important. And uh, most, most players fail uh, to do that. All right, so... We're just looking for some targets. So I get scouted here, and I think I forgot I got scouted here. That's how focused I was on this game. So now he comes over here with this piece. He knows this is a captain. I think I played a lot of players recently that just like to swap a known piece with an unknown piece. So I think I might have thought this was a captain. Or else I just wasn't paying any attention and I just wanted to know what it was. And it turns out this this player this player had a ma a major in the front row. So that was a that was a little surprising. So that was kind of stupid. I should have I should have assumed it was a uh uh a major and just moved the piece over. But uh, yeah, that was that was probably a minor blunder. I should have moved over this way. So now he's, he wants to scout this to see if it's a high piece. So what should I do? Uh, well, I could just take my scout and, and swap. But I think I can get the scout for free if I come up with my major. He might be scared. Because this was a captain, he might think this is a colonel, so he'll run away, and then I can get the scout with the uh, major. So 
So we get a free scout and save our scout. And now he runs away. He doesn't want to swap. So he's not a swapping guy. So you can assume he has some good pieces here. This could already be his high son, uh, uh, his, uh, his uh, martial side maybe. And this is the strong side. This is probably the weak side. Now he did the same thing here. He knew this was his lieutenant was scouted. He knew this probably was a captain, but he hit it anyway. So we both did the same thing, except he got a captain and I got a lieutenant. So that's... And now this was dumb here. I probably, instead of going over, you know, since he had a lieutenant here, this could easily be a major. It's also a good spot for a colonel, but this could be a major, right? Covering a uh, lieutenant. So I should have come down to this spot here. And then my lieutenant could go up here and chase something. But it's not too terrible because we'll see. He just wanted, I guess he wanted to swap. Or maybe he just wanted to get a free, a free scouting piece. So that, I guess that was good on his part. So now he's running away. He doesn't want to swap. So now I lose track of this captain here. I thought it was here. And he tucked his captain here. So I, like I said, I wasn't focused. Because then I bring this miner over here. And I go down here to see what this piece is. And and we already know what this piece is. So so you can see I'm definitely not uh, playing, playing at a high level. <laughs> or maybe I'm playing at a high level if I'm, if I'm smoking dope. But... Uh, yeah, we're not we're not playing we're not playing great we're not playing terrible but we're not playing great. So I'm hoping this is a high piece, but this is probably and uh, I probably probably wasn't too. That probably wasn't a good piece. So there's more movement on his right side. So that could be that could be his strong side, his martial side. So we've got a lieutenant now, and so we find the marshal. That's great behind the lake. So if if he has a balance set up, a lot of times players, uh, a lot of times bronze and silver players, when they have a balance set up. They have the marshal behind the lake, and then they have the general on the other side on the lake. And a lot of times the marshal was on the outside, and the general was more towards the inside. So be aware of that. So now I'm just keeping I'm keeping my marshal on my major diagonal, so he doesn't two square me with the uh, with the marshal. And so now right away, you know. What happens when you find the marshal, you counterattack with the general. So we have a captain here and a lieutenant here. So that's looking pretty good. We might as well go in right away. I didn't want to come up with my captain, but... So I get the lieutenant. And now, you know, I have some scouting pieces so we can look over on this side. Since the marshal came on this side, we're looking for a colonel somewhere over here. Uh, we, he had one major, so we're looking for a colonel. And there might be a major in the center. So that's, it's always good to have scouts uh, near your general. So when you counterattack... You can find some pieces quickly before the marshal comes back. Now I'm I'm thinking which one is the marshal? <laughs> I already lost track. Is it this one or is it this one? I'm thinking and I'm like, it's got to be this one. It's not this one. So so now I tuck this captain away. 
I was hoping to find a colonel, no luck. So, I wanted to find out what this piece is, but we already know what it is. It's a captain. <laughs> I was like, oh, darn it, that's a captain. So now, this piece is probably junk. So now we're going to do... We're go we want to find out what this piece is. This could be a good piece. Now, this is probably his general. And I'm thinking, because his he probably thinks my setup is similar to his. Right? I had the general over here. He had the general over here. I had a major over here. He had a major over there. He had his marshal here. He probably thinks this or this is my marshal, so he could come over here with my general. So that's that's uh, a pretty good way of thinking. He he definitely uh, read my board pretty easily, I guess. But the problem is, if if this is the weak side, there could be a lot of bombs over here. So he has to be he has to be a little bit careful. He really needs to bring some scouting pieces up here. And I have to worry about my uh, major, so we have to we have to watch that. So now this is interesting. I come up here to see what this piece is, and he decides to take me with this piece. Now a lot of times people don't uh, bother taking the 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 scout. He's stuck. So they'll just move somewhere else, and then I have to hit this piece to find out what it is. Uh, but it was interesting that he hit this piece, and that's telling me something. That's telling me he didn't want me to hit this piece. Uh, this piece might be important. If this was a sergeant or, or a miner or a scout, I think he would have hit this a scout. But he didn't want to. So this could be a colonel. You know, his general started here. So this could be a colonel or or a major or maybe the spy. And so that's or it's a bomb. So that's that's probably the the uh the three things it could be a major, a colonel, or spy or bomb, the four things, right? Three pieces and a bomb. Or maybe he didn't want to swap scouts. But uh, I thought that was interesting. You always have to think about that when when two pieces can take a piece especially a scout, you wonder why the other piece didn't take it. So, but we're going to get this captain. And I, and I was really tempted, I was really tempted to hit this piece, and maybe even this piece, because his general started from here. So I'm thinking both of these pieces are probably pretty good. Maybe Colonel Spy, or Colonel, uh, Colonel Spy, or, or Colonel Here Spy, or Major. I'm thinking these are two good pieces, but but now I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go up, and I'm going to be up. I'm going to be up a captain and two lieutenants. So you know, there's the old rule when you're up a lot. I mean, that's not that's not so much, but when you're up a captain and two lieutenants, you might not. You don't have to lotto, even though. The chances of these two being bombs are really low. Uh, I decided not to do it. So now I could be in trouble here because he has, he knows where two captains are. I could move my marshal over to protect them, but then I have to worry about my major. So I decided to come back and play defense. I want to swap with my general. I'm doing the right thing. So he comes over with his marshal, and unfortunately, I'm watching over here. I'm not watching over on this side, and I really should protect my major, but I'm watching the action over here, and that's one of my biggest flaws at Stratego, besides my bad memory, is I tend to get focused on what I'm trying to do, not what my opponent's trying to do, and that gets you in a lot of trouble, and that can cause you to lose a lot of games. You really want to focus on the whole board all the time. So right here, I'm in great shape. The game should be over. It should be, uh, you know, just a mop-up game, basically. Because I know, I know his marshal is here. This is probably his colonel. He wants to trap my major. 
and this is probably his general, and I got it on the diagonal. I got it blocked off. So now all I have to do, it's, it's really simple, is, is just, just bring my major down to here and then bring my marshal out, swap marshals. Then I could bring the major in, swap colonels, and just keep on swapping because I'm up a captain and, and, uh, and two lieutenants and we're tied sergeants. I am down a uh, scout and minor, but that's no big deal. So this game would be over. It should be over. Uh... But unfortunately, I make a big blunder. I tried to get him to swap, but he didn't want to swap. And and uh, if if your opponent doesn't want to swap, the thing you don't want to do is chase him towards uh, uh, where your pieces are, because then he might start attacking your pieces, and that's that's not good. And so this this is a real huge blunder on my part, trying to get him to swap. He doesn't want to do it. And I should have just played defense, held my ground, got my marshal out, and saved my major. And I was just trying to get him to swap. And then when he went down here, uh, I was feeling uh, pretty bad. I was like, man, we, we screwed this up now. And I'm like, man, I lost this captain. I might lose this captain. I might lose the major. Uh, th this was really stupid now. So we're going to try to get out of this mess. And he still doesn't want to uh, swap, even though he evened up the captains. So now I'm thinking, well, I can get my colonel up here to start attacking some pieces, because we know this is a captain. But now my major's in trouble, and it's like I gave up on my major. And he's bringing the marshal down. Yeah, this is not this is not looking good now. <laughs> so I tried to tried to bluff him here that this was my marshal to maybe get him to go over here, and it didn't work. But then if if he has a decent memory, he should remember this was the captain that took his lieutenant, so he should know this as a captain. But I don't think he did. But he didn't he didn't take me though. He just he just stood his ground. I guess he didn't want to swap, and uh, he didn't buy that was my marshal. So I have to get that out of the way. So my major is now dead. I, I I should have saved my major. So we really screwed up. So we lose we lose the major. And now I should what I should try to do is I should try to bluff. I should try to bluff my colonel as my marshal and and move over here and that's very dangerous right i mean you're risking a colonel bluff but you know his his marshal came from that spot behind the lake so that that would be highly believable that this is my marshal and then maybe he would either go here and i could then swap or maybe he would go to my marshal and i could i could uh capture his general And I didn't do it, and now I was mad. Now I, I should have should have moved the colonel, and I was I was going to title this video, "The Sob Lotto's My Colonel, <laughs> Rat Bastard." That's that's what I wanted to title this uh, uh, video on YouTube, but then I, then I decided not to. But yeah, this was this was a bummer. So this this you know a simple mistake, uh, just trying to get your opponent to swap. Turns out to be just a terrible blunder after blunder here. And I'm losing pieces left and right. All right, losing a captain, losing a major, losing a colonel. Uh, you know, I went from an easy win now to it looks like I'm in deep trouble. All right, so now I just decided to move my marshal over. Maybe he thinks this is a bluff, but he probably doesn't because, you know, I had a major over here, a colonel over here. This probably is my marshal. And now my opponent, he's smart enough to know when you're ahead, he wants to swap. So he's like, yeah, that's probably the marshal. So now I probably told him that, you know, this is definitely my marshal, or he probably thinks, you know, 99% chance that this is my marshal. So he goes up here with the general. So now, pause the video and think what I should do. 
And I know some of you are probably thinking, well, you're down a colonel, a major, and you're in a lot of trouble. Maybe you should just quit. <laughs> I surrender. And, uh, but now I was, a, I was definitely awake. I was definitely focused now because, you know, he lauded my colonel. That, you know, that, that uh, wakes you up. All right, pause the video. Think what you would do now in my situation. What do we know? We know this is his colonel. We know this is a marshal. This is his general. Uh, this is his captain. This is probably a weak piece. And that's pretty much all we know. And this might be a good piece, but that's pretty much all we know. All right, what I decided to do, well, I thought about coming this way with the general. I didn't want to swap, because when you're behind, you don't want to swap. So I didn't want to do that. But if I come this way to try to get this piece and, and get a captain back, uh, I, I thought that he might follow me, because he probably thinks this is my marshal. He might just follow me, and then I might lose my major, or I might be forced to swap. So I didn't think that was a... a uh, a good idea. So what I decided to do was I decided to come up this way and I knew I was going to lose my captain but then I was going to hit this piece. This piece hasn't moved and I'm just hoping it isn't a bomb. Now unfortunately the odds are against me because uh, the bomb allocations on rows is, is there's usually about two-thirds of a bomb on the fr first row. And there's one bomb usually on, the, on the, the second row from the top. There's usually two bombs on the uh, third row. And on the last row, it's about two and a half bombs. So, he doesn't, I haven't found a bomb on, this, on his front row. So, there's a, there's a pretty good chance that this is a bomb. Uh... You know, if I played three games, you know, in two of those games, this would be a bomb. So I'm hoping this is not a bomb. I'm hoping it's a good piece. I really need it to be either a uh, major or colonel. That's what I'm hoping for. Uh, and I hope it's not a bomb. So we're going to go down the captain. So then we're going to be down a colonel, a major, and a captain. But we are up two lieutenants. So, but that's, I think that was my best uh, chance to get back into the game. So he lotted my colonel. I have to get lucky and, and now lotto one piece. And I was tempted to hit this and this. It might have been better to hit these two and then come back up and go here. And that piece moved. So that was good. We got a major. And we got a sergeant, so that's that's better than a scout. And we're going to get this captain. And then, so now he's going to force me to swap. Now, he didn't think too long about that, but maybe he should have. Uh, because right now... Uh, I'm not in, in such a bad shape. I've just a few, uh, you know, a few moves ago, I was down a colonel, major, and captain. But now we're even on the captains. We're even on the majors. I'm only down a colonel, but I'm up two lieutenants and a sergeant. And so I'm up three pieces. He's up, he's up the uh, colonel, but then he d does have me by a, a minor and a scout. Now, if I was even with the miner and the scout, I might just be tempted to swap and then just swap out. And I think I could beat him with him having a colonel uh, at the end with my two lieutenants and sergeant advantage. Uh, but because I am down a, a miner and scout, I'm not ready to swap yet. I really want to get, I really need to get a couple more smaller pieces and then I could swap out. And then I could win the game. So that's the plan now. So that's the good news. The bad news is he knows my major. And he has two colonels. The, the good news is his colonels, his one colonel is over here. So I have to protect this major. I'm going to protect it unlike the major over here I just let die. So we have to bring back our uh, major. 
And then what I want to do is I want to hit this piece, hopefully with my kernel, and, and then maybe swap. So I'm hoping this is maybe a captain, or maybe it's his other kernel. That would be good, too, if I find his, other, his unknown kernel. That would be really good. So that's the plan. We're going to try to save our major. And then we want to get our kernel out. And and one of the reasons you want to I want to bring my kernel up, and I'm, I'm hoping to find some other smaller pieces, maybe a lieutenant or sergeant, because he doesn't know where my marshal is. I mean, he thinks it's this, but he can't he can't rush in with the kernel and hit this piece, because if it's my marshal, then he's he's really screwed. So he has to be careful. He has to scout this piece before he can uh, swap with his colonel. So he's bringing up his colonel. He wants to trap my major. So now I decide, okay, I better, uh, I want to hit this piece because I want to know what this is. This might be a major. And I'm looking, I'm looking at the scoreboard. I'm, I'm, like, I'm trying to figure out, okay, let's go with the colonel. So now we have two pieces here to swap, and I don't want him to find my marshal. That's the last thing. I do not want him to uh, to know what that is. So that's great. Uh, I, I'm happy with that because now we're even at scouts. So now I hope to get one of these two pieces here. I really want to get this piece because I think this is a good piece. I go down here. I'm surprised he didn't move this. I don't know why he did that. He should have moved this forward. I don't know why he he uh, went this way. I think I would have tried to save this piece, but he didn't want to. He just wanted to swap, and that turned out to be a spy. So that's why, that's why when my scout was here, why he attacked with the captain, because he was worried I was going to go this way, but you know there was almost no chance I was going to hit this piece. I was going to go the other way. But anyway, so I got a spy. So that's a, that's a that's that's a really great capture. I think that was a that was a real big blunder on on his part to lose to his spy. So now, you know, I'm up to spy. We're even at a scouts. I'm only down a minor. I'd like to get at least one more piece, one more piece, and then I could swap. I really could almost swap with him now. But since I have the spy advantage, maybe I really shouldn't uh, swap. So what I'm going to try to do now, we're, we're changing our uh, our plan. Instead of swapping, I, well, I want to try to, since we captured his spy, I want to try to lure him away and then maybe, maybe bring my marshal up here. Because now I'm thinking, well, this is the marshal side. I'm thinking the flag is on this side. And I'm thinking the flag now is here, right? That's the second most... Uh, popular spot right so his marshal was here so I'm thinking the flag is here so then you think bomb 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 and then this piece moved so this probably is not a bomb I think this piece moved I think this might have moved so I can bring my if I can lure the marshal over here I can bring my marshal over here and start uh, hitting a few pieces and then then I could swap so that's that's the plan now and I'm hoping he doesn't capture my uh, lieutenant because I am up to lieutenants. This is kind of risky. But then it also allows me to bring out my uh, 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 scout later on to find his other colonel because his other colonel is unknown. I'm thinking his colonel might be this piece or this piece because it looks like he had an even, an even board here uh, with the martial colonel and a general colonel. So, but he has to be careful. He doesn't want to go down any more pieces. And, you know, just in case if this is my marshal, he doesn't want to lose a major or a captain, right? So he has to, he probably wants to bring a scout or a sergeant or a miner. He has all his miners to check out what this piece is before he traps it. Uh, it's, it's probably not likely to be a spy or marshal here. So he could, he could come over here with his marshal to try to trap it. But he didn't want to do it because I think he wanted to... He, he probably thought this was my marshal and wanted to keep it pinned. Especially since his spy is gone. And I really don't, I don't want to lose my lieutenant here. So now, now here's, here's, I changed my plan now right here. I wanted to win this game quickly because I figured a swap game would go on for a while. 
And, I, and then he, everything changed when he made this move right here. Uh, he makes this move right here. And then a light bulb uh, lit up in my brain. And I immediately knew what I was going to do. Now pause the video and think what I'm going to do. Look at my board. Look at what we know. We know this is the Marshall. And, and it came from this side. And uh, he doesn't have his spy anymore. So pause the video and think how I can win this game quickly. All right, what I want to try to do now, and I, I'm, a, I'm a stats uh, player. I really believe in the stats. You know, sometimes you'll lose a few games because of the stats. Uh, but I really trust the stats. So I'm, I'm really believing that the flag is here and, and on the Marshall side. So what I want to do now is get a minor here to open up the flag. And if, if you watched the last video, uh, it's the perfect... Uh, so now this is, this is the perfect chance, the perfect scenario to do the minor bluff. And it works out wonderful because the marshal, his marshal is out of place. I got his spy. He doesn't have many uh, scouting pieces left. And he, he doesn't know my high piece. He assumes this is my high piece, but he doesn't know for sure. And in a close game, if you don't really know, uh, you can lose some of your high pieces and, and really lose the game if you're not 100% sure. And, and the other reason it works is because he has around 20, 20, it usually works well when you have around 20 to 25 pieces left, because then your opponent doesn't think you're coming up with a minor. And it also helps if you get a minor that, that doesn't come from the back row. It has to come from a spot where it could be your high piece. So, so if I bring a piece from the back row, he's going to say, oh, that could be a minor. And then, and because we have 20 pieces, or 20, I think there's like 21 or 22 pieces, uh, he's not going to expect it to be a, a, a minor. So that, that, that works to your advantage. If there were maybe, you know, 12, 15 pieces left, then you might expect a minor coming up to try to win the game. But when there's this many pieces, you don't really expect a minor. And that's what makes the uh, minor bluff work so effectively in the in the middle game. So now I have to try to get this minor out because this minor is blocked by the marshal. And so that's what I do. So it's uh, going to be a little tricky to get there, but let's see let's see how we do it. I didn't want to move the spy over here in case this was a scout. And it was. So I wasn't I wasn't I wasn't worried about him coming this way and checking this piece. He wants to know what my marshal is. So I really have to uh I really have to save my marshal. Now I could just take the scout and be up a scout, and then I'd be up two lieutenants. A sergeant and a scout and just down a minor and a colonel that might be enough to win but he does know my major and this piece is in jeopardy so it would be a close game depending on how well he hides his uh, colonel but I'm assuming it's this piece or this piece so uh, I probably could uh, win a swap game but then he could also, you know, be forced to lotto, and that would be bad for me because he could come down here and wipe out a lot of pieces. So you're not guaranteed to win a swap game uh, if they decide to get, you know, if they get lucky with a lotto. So we're going to try to get our miner to open up a possible bomb didn't flag, and that's uh, I believe in the statistics. 
So I decided, well, let's try to do this and win quickly. You know, because the flag, it shouldn't be in the corner, right? Because it's open now. So if, if you think your opponent has a bombed in flag, this is as good a spot as any here. This is, you know, the second most po possible spot to, to test. So we have to avoid our marshal being detected by the scout. So then we want to get our miner up. So now I have to sacrifice my lieutenant. Uh, we're going to get the scout. Now he, he wants to know what this is. So if I go over here, uh, he could go either way. Now he probably thinks my spy is on this side since my general started on this side. So now, what what would be a good move? Pause the video and think about what move I should make right now. Well, I might try to just run up with my marshal because he doesn't have a spy and, you know, attack some of these pieces. But I'm going to lose a lieutenant if I do that. So, and then he might follow me up. And then I have two pieces here that have moved that he can target with his uh, colonel if he really thinks this is my marshal. And he, he, I think he, he really thinks this is my marshal. So what I decided to do is move my spy next to my marshal. And, you know, that seems kind of strange, right? Why, why would you want to protect your marshal with a spy? But what I'm trying to do is to put some doubt in my opponent that this isn't my marshal. So if I move my spy over here, he might think maybe this is my marshal instead of this being my marshal. Even though he's probably 99% sure this is my marshal. But that's what you try to do. You try to remove doubt uh, uh, in your opponent and try to confuse them. And, you know, make them second guess. And then, and then you know, you can fool them. So, but this, this, I mean, this, you know, uh, the general was over here. So, this definitely could be the spy. And it actually is a spy. So now, you know, if you were this player, would you attack this piece or would you attack this piece? I mean, this could be the spy too. He doesn't know that. But since the general was over here, it makes more sense to attack this. And he knows this is a lieutenant. He doesn't know what this is. So if this is a junk piece and he gets killed by the spy, that would be terrible. So I guess it worked. He didn't swap, swap marshals. So now I come out with my miner. And now this piece, I believe this piece is a colonel. And I'm, I'm hoping it's a colonel or a major. Because he'll be hesitant to take this piece. Because if this is my marshal, he's going to go down a big piece. And, and that, would, that would not be good for him. So Because then he would really lose the swap game. So that's why this, this minor bluff is so effective. It really works when there's, like I said, when the marshal's out of place, when he doesn't know your high piece, and when there's around 20 pieces left. This, this tactic is so effective. So you just go right at that piece. Now he's a little bit concerned because he doesn't have a spy over here. I'm glad he went over here. So then I can chase him. That worked perfectly. If he would have went the other way, it would have been harder. So now I go down here. Now, this piece has moved, but he can't attack me. Because if this is my marshal, he loses this piece and this piece. So that would be a double kill. And then he would be in real trouble. He would have to go in, into lotto mode. So now I move right in front of... Uh, hopefully this is a bomb, right? The... We hope the flag is here, and this is the bomb triangle. So I'm thinking this is his colonel, and we know that's the marshal. And he's kind of, he wants to try to capture this, and now I come up here. 
And now he, he might want to trap this. He might think this is my major because I'm coming up. And now if this was my major, I wouldn't go here because then I would be trapped. So I would go this way, right? But I decide to go for it. I'm going for it. So I'm going up. And now my opponent figured it out. He goes, ah, this is this is his marshal all along. You know, this was just a a bluff. He probably figured out that this, you know, definitely was my marshal now. So he probably thinks this is my major. I guarantee you he doesn't think this is a minor. So he's running up with this, probably his colonel or major to attack my major. And I move up and now he moves over. And now he's going to be shocked. He's like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, the flag could be open. And he, he swaps with the uh, miner. And now he can't stop me. So if this is the flag, he's going to lose. Now, uh, when you get to the higher level, you'll have players that use double bombs here. So if I was playing a, a platinum player, I probably wouldn't attack right away now with my marshal. But since I'm playing a, you know, a mid-level silver player, I think he was a silver colonel, I think. Uh, you know, I, I might not hit down. Uh, but, uh, you know, platinum higher level goals or platinum players would have double bombs here. It's good to have double bombs uh, four over from the left and four over from the right because they will uh, definitely uh, capture uh, some high pieces from players like me who, who play the stats. And uh, those double bombs there can be very effective. So now he's, he's screwed. Uh, there's not much he can do, and I'm going for it. You know, I think the worst thing that could happen was maybe I could get a lower piece here. You know, uh, maybe minor or something. That would be a bummer. And then he catches my lieutenant. But we get his flag. So that worked out perfect. This is a perfect uh, illustration of a stats win with the, with the minor bluff. We'll just watch it quickly here. Watch the replay. And, and uh, you know, take the scout. You can't, can't let him find your high piece. Where the bluff doesn't work right and this was a good bluff here uh with the uh, spy next to the marshal to make it look like it's not my marshal and then you just charge up with a minor and you know the opponent has to uh, respect your minor because it could be my marshal and, and he doesn't want to go down. So that's why it's so effective here when there's, you know, around 20 or so pieces. Uh, you can get right in. And see, the problem for him here, now he moves over here thinking, oh, this could be the marshal. If I'm coming up here, you know, he has to track me up so I can't get to the flag but then I would get his piece here and he didn't want to do that so that's a bad feeling so you know th this marshal I mean this minor uh, bluff you, you don't have to capture the flag you just got to open it up and I do this all the time I, I just love this bluff it's, it's so effective and then you just got to believe the stats And we get a win. So that was good. And now this was my ninth win in a row. So I was happy about that. And then, uh, you know, I could have lost very easily over here with this debacle. Um, where was it? You know, here when I let him, you never want to do that. You never, you never want to let your opponent have a chance to, to lotto, you know, good pieces. I had him blocked off. I could have saved my major and swap marshals, swap colonels, you know, get this piece, this piece moved. 
I would have had a commanding lead. This was an easy win here, and then I just, I just was trying to force something I shouldn't have done, and then it was just a disaster. And then he got lucky lottering my colonel, but we didn't give up. I mean, I was I was really bummed when he took my major. It's like, man, that was stupid. And then I was really mad when he lottered my colonel. But then, you know, you have to think, well, what are you going to do? Am I going to go this way? Because he wants to swap with me now. You know, I gave away my marshal basically there. So now we don't want to swap. Remember, you never want to swap when you're behind. Try not to if you don't have to. And I didn't want to go this way because I probably would have had to swap. Otherwise, I would have lost another major. And then, you know, you had to take the risk here of hitting lottoing this piece. And we knew these two pieces moved, and we knew this was a captain. So even though we would lose this captain, we would get it back. So that worked out great. And I, I probably could have hit both of these two pieces too. I could have hit this and then maybe that. Or I could have come here and I could have hit this. Because uh, that well, I think that was his colonel. So, you know, you're never out of it. The games can uh, turn uh, quickly, really fast. So don't give up if you get way behind or if someone gets, you know, lucky and lotto's your colonel. You know, don't surrender right away. Play it out, you know. Just don't, don't swap with him. You, you run up and... And try to attack some of his pieces that moved and maybe try to lotto a piece that you think is a high piece to get back into the game and then you'll you'll be surprised at how many games uh that you'll win coming from behind and that's the only way you you can move up the leaderboard you're gonna have to win games like this to move up the leaderboard otherwise you're always going to be stuck in the bronze and silver level so anyway, yeah, this was this was a very nice win, and it was just kind of interesting. I won this, you know, after uh, used the minor bluff again after that other game. That other game was really nice, but this this uh, shows you how effective it is, and you just got to see it. And you know, this was the opening here when he moved when he moved this piece over. That allowed me to get to this square without worrying about a piece, you know, attacking my miner. So this, this gave me the opening. This right when he moved here, I was like, oh, I can get a miner in then, right? And that, that's just, as soon as he did that, that's when I said, oh yeah, get, get this miner up there. <laughs> and then it, then it worked out, uh, it worked out great. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you, uh, Learn, learn something here. Uh, trust those stats. Uh, they'll help you win a lot of games. And bye for now.